All right, guys, so here is the final. Now, I put one tag in. I wasn't sure which other tag I'd like, so I left I left that. But this is from that, um, that different paper that I have that has, like, the, the waves in it and stuff it, it's a uh, very nice shiny so it's a it's a nice contrast but yet still kind of the same color so um and then this comes down and then this goes over and i am going to have a collage page here and then here's this page so that turned out really nice oh i really like it and now the closure so i had a piece of this left so i cut it in two pieces found my center and I am going to put some score tape down on both sides burnish it Got a nice little piece of, there we go. So now, and I've got the, uh, right side. Some of, some of these seam bindings seem to have a, a better side to them than others. All right. So this is the second time introducing this seam binding and I just love the color combination here with this blue. Now remember you can always, always, always get white seam binding and color it any color you want. You can crinkle it if, you, if you'd like. Um, just get it wet, scrunch it up in a ball, kind of let it dry, and boom. So, you know, you, you've you got options there as well. Um, you can use elastic lace. You can use lace, um, twine, you know, the sky's the limit. You can use whatever you want. Or if you didn't forget to put the magnets down, you could use magnets. <laughs> yeah. I probably would have put a magnet uh, here where I would get um, just onto this sheet of paper. Uh, or you could put one up here where more than likely you wouldn't have a photo. So, you know, there's there are several options. Okay, so now we are done with this page and I will get it put in uh, now, let's see, we have three more pages, and I need to kind of do a little inventory. Do you guys want to come along with me? Let's just see where we're at as far as what I've got left. <clears throat> okay, now I have been, you know, using some of these pieces for uh, the page decorations. Um but I have used all the larger ones now already. So, you know, I don't know if I want them in, in my book again, but I could, uh, I could fussy cut out some. Now, this is, this is very pretty. Um, I love this and I love that, but, um, that's a normal page. These things aren't in the papers, so that's why I like seeing what I have left and then this Vix flower and vegetable garden. Um, see, those aren't in the papers. This piece here, that's another reason. Uh, this postcard is a different, uh, different piece. I mean, this isn't, but you know, the way the daisies are, that that is different than what you get in the paper. These little stamps are adorable. So I do still want to use those. And then this is just the duplicates in the. Uh, that shiny stuff I mistakenly but advantageously made copies of <laughs> on. <laughs> so that 
is what I have left of those. And most all of those tags are going to be used. <clears throat> so I have this sheet, this piece, a whole sheet of the yellow. I have this sheet, which is the same. Then this one, I have this partial here. And then I have this piece here. And that is it. So, and I've printed out each one twice, except for the, the beige one. I did not print that one out twice. So I may have to go back and print out a few more one more time because I don't know that I'm going to have enough. Uh, now on this page, um, I still am not quite sure what I want to do. Uh, this is pretty thick. So let me just stand this up and see. Okay, so I still have plenty of room to do something nice on this on this page. Um, um, I think I'm going to make <clears throat> a waterfall off the sides. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Again, I want to leave this paper empty. So I will be working off the back. Let's see what I've got here. I've got these two white pieces. And I think I have... Um, another sheet of white cut somewhere. Maybe I don't. Ooh, I'm going to have to cut into another sheet of white. I don't see any. Okay, here we go. Another sheet of white. Let's see, do I have any over here? No. Oh, I also have these from that shiny stuff. I don't know that I'll use a lot of that, but I have used a few pieces, so it's kind of nice. Okay. Um, okay, so, and this this piece got that red stuff all over it, so as long as I can cut that or use that as a uh, flap, I'll be fine. So let me go ahead and cut this at six. All right. Well, that's not very straight at all. What the heck? Let me see here. A brand new sheet here, and it is not straight at all. So I am going to double check this all the way around. Wow. Let me put that over here. I think I must have started with the piece that wasn't... Because uh, I am having to really... Let me put this back up here. Really cut this sucker down. This is just weird. I wonder if I just didn't notice that on any of the other ones. Okay, but now we're straight. So let's try this again. Well, maybe not. All right. Now let's try it. That's much better. Much better. Okay. All right, so I have, oh, and just so you know, since we're going through the papers, I have one full yellow sheet, 
I still have, which I can still use as tags. Um, I still have three yellow tags and three blue tags. So I can still use these as tags if, if I decide to do that. Um, I also have my, <clears throat> I do have, whoops, not this, not this, not this. <laughs> Sorry, not that. Okay, here it goes. So I do have these two that I pulled out from my cover. All right. And then I've got three of the blue pulled out for the cover. I don't know that I'll need three, but um, I will have most of the third one still to be able to use if I have to use any part of it at all for the cover. So do make sure you have something pulled out or at least something planned for your cover and that you have the cardstock for it. Okay, so now this piece right here is six inches or 15.2 and a half centimeters. I don't know if you do two and a half centimeters, 15.25, I don't know, but, um, so if I make, if I make these, uh, four and a quarter by five, and then we have a little over six this way from this lowest point here down. So if I make these, Four by five and seven eighths. Let me see if I do this. That's one, two, three, four, five and three quarters. Okay. All right. So let's try that. I'm going to go ahead and give myself my half an inch all right and then I'm going to let me go ahead and burnish this so it's so it's very nice and then I'm going to bring this back on itself and fold okay then see this is six i want this to be four and a quarter okay um but i'm not going to let the bottom part go to waste but i'm going to cut this at four and a quarter which is 10 and 8, 10.8 centimeters. All right. So there's my four and a quarter. Go around the back so I get a better look here. So there's that one. Now I want to make another one of those. So I'm going to need a whole sheet of paper here. Um, so we'll do scoreboard. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Let's see. I want, yeah, this is the back. <clears throat> do I want... No. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I feel a little bit better today. Yesterday I was I it was Easter yesterday and I, I videoed but boy I just did not feel very good. Not at all. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't look square to me. 
stay. All right, and now I'm going to fold this back again on itself. And I want it to line up just right. Oops, it moved. It's amazing how strong paper can be when you think you've got a good hold of it. Let me pop this back out. When you think you've got a good hold of it and you go to pinch it down and it moves and you're like, wow. Oh, if I had fingernails. I don't know why they all... And it seems like it just goes in a cycle. All right, there we go. No, nope, that's not going to work. Come on, paper. I'll fix you. There we go. Goodness gracious, that took a while. Four and a quarter now. I'm going to cut it down again. Or was that 15.2, I think I said? Or no, it was 10. Uh, I'll look again because now I've probably confused everyone. 10.8. Yeah, 10.8. Okay, so we have this side and we have this side. And then if I took this and left a little bit of a, yeah, let's do it this way. What do I think about that? Actually, I don't, I don't know. See, if I had this, when you open this up, so this can be for this picture. This and this can be for these two pictures. And then this. No, I don't like that. That's, that's too, that's too much. So let's see what we can do with those. I don't want to waste them and I won't. We're going to put these on another page. So save these. We'll put these on another page. Okay, guys. So save those. Um, so I have this and I think Going back through here, I remember I still have these pockets. So I think I'm going to cut these pockets out and let's see. Where would I put those? I probably, yeah, I think what I'll do is this fold. <clears throat> so this measures um, five and three quarters, you know, so wherever your fold went and then on the end side, the open end side, not the hinge side, I'm going to put an eighth of an inch gusset. And I put it on the wrong side, but that's okay. So just line up your edges. And pinch. Hold on to the edge and bring the rest up. There we go. 
and then give it a little burnish. All right, so now we have a small eighth of an inch opening there. Good. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So, not on the hinge side, on this flap side, we want to put an eighth of an inch gusset in there. Line your paper up. Pull forward to get into the correct crease of your score line. And then pull the rest along with it and burnish quick and easy way of getting that eighth of an inch. No muss, no fuss, guys. No muss, no fuss. Okay, we will still get these used up. I got, after this one, two more pages, so, and then the inside front and back covers. Yeah, baby! Oh, and I also have these beautiful butterflies to cut out, and then this little tag. I like to continuously look at what I have on my ephemera side of things uh, because, you know, when you get a, when you get a journal, uh, you know, this kind of kit that they've got kind of slated for journals, um, you don't, you don't always get all the types of ephemera that you get from like a store-bought paper. So, now this is on this side of the book, so the two sides of the book, this page is on the right side of the book, which means the spine is here. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not overloading my spine area. Okay, so I have those two just like that. Let's put this aside. I'm going to cut these out and uh, be right back because I got something else I want to plan too. Okay, um, my husband's mowing, so I hope that is not going to bother you guys. Every once in a while, you'll hear some engine going by, and I do believe I'm going to put something on my clinkity clank thing here. There. Okay, so um, let's see what else I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and use this one and I want to make it the same height as these. Okay. And I'm going to make a hinge. So I finally get to use this piece of paper. Okay, and then I need another one. I could have cut this all at the same time, but I did not. So here's the same height. Put one here. And then, okay, so we're going to open this up. And we're going to glue this down. Let me just double check that I'm good on my height. And I am. So this is all about getting some pictures in, and I am going to trim these little sides up a little bit. That way they get hidden once you put your designer paper down. Oh, and I left it too long. All right. 
There we go. So we're going to lay this down right on top. of the hinge side okay right on top of the hinge side so that will give us lots of good room for pictures and that is a little larger in a spot here let's see huh all right, let's see what we got going on here. All right. All righty. Just got a little hanging over one edge here. There we go. Okay. There. Just worked on that fold line a little bit. And now we've got that one working very well. Okay. So there's that. So it's open. Open. And I think... I think I'm going to go ahead and put magnets down so I don't forget <laughs> every little metal piece I've got is stuck to it <laughs> there we go okay so ah and since there's going to be paper and photos I'm gonna go ahead and use two magnets I'm going to go ahead and put a dot of glue down on there and a little bit of score tape. I need to get my quarter inch roll out so I stop using because I did get some quarter inch roll in. Okay. And then let this one find its mate. Well, let me go ahead and put down another piece. Oh, fingernails. I need me some fingernails. There we go. And then I want you to make sure before you close it down that you've got this standing up straight and that it lines up nice and even. Nice and even, and then push, and there we go. Okay, so that'll close that one up. Now this one, we're going to put on here. And this one did not get cut just a little too tall. So let me take off just a smidge. This should work now. Perfect. And where are we going to want this cut? Let's see, where is the other one? So that they're somewhat similar right there all right of course this one goes this way but it's easier for me to work on it this way oh let's trim our little corners up a little bit again make 
Make sure they're nice and even. Burnish well, burnish well. Okay, and now two more magnets. There we go. And you notice how I'm putting it because I can. Um, I'm putting it way back so that I have um, plenty of room to get that uh, to get that magnet away from the edge so I can go ahead and get my second one here so I can uh, get that paper down nicely okay since we have the room let's use it okay let me move this there we go all right get my fingers off of there and again when you open it I mean before you push it down make sure that we're lining up correctly and that your uh, hinge on the side there is vertical so you line up here and that this is straight up and down this little piece here but you don't want to lose that space you gave yourself okay so now we have our magnets and where's my paper here it is all right so now we're let me just make sure yeah okay so now we're going to place these on here in the correct area and that's one thing I should have thought about okay so one of these hinges is gonna have to have let's see this is on this side let me see yeah this is on this side so I'm going to make this side have this is the open booked area this is the spine area I don't want to add extra bulk to the spine area so I will put this one down first and then it can not it does not have to have extra space here to get over this this one on the other hand is going to have to have some extra space here to get over this eighth of an inch so in order to make it work nicely I'm going to, instead of making my mark just at an eighth of an inch, I'm going to, because this right here, right at the end of where my inner flap is, is where my half inch score is. So I'm going to move my half inch score to the center of the tab the raised part that's in between the two grooves okay so now my half inch score mark is on the tab instead of inside a groove now I'm going to go over to the second groove mark so that's going to give me slightly more than an eighth of an inch and I will still have enough to work as a uh, to glue down it's about a quarter of an inch and that and that will work and I will put um, some score tape on top of it so that uh, on the back side so that will help also with holding it in okay so now we have slightly more than an eighth of an inch so that when we put this one here, it is actually going to lay nicely on top of the other one. Because the other one, once we get papers and all in it, is going to be pretty fatty. Um, 
and you know pictures on top of that so that way it's going to give us some nice extra space all right but yet we're not going a whole quarter of an inch uh here for that i could do my rounded ones but for this application i'm kind of liking just doing the square ones it just all depends i think the rounded ones for me are better on uh more vintage looks this is a little crisper looking for you know the springy light airy non-vintage <laughs> so yeah i kind of have preferences on that okay so let's go ahead and get these glued down let me put so we have lots of good opportunity for pictures with this make sure I've got it there and that it's straight because I think I felt it move but it did not all right so here we go and because it's not on the bottom of the page I'm not going to worry about cutting my little ends off there we go Okay, and then with this one, I'm going to fold on that last fold line we just made. I want to fold on that and hook it around so that I know that I'm getting the right piece. And bring it down just a smidge more. Okay. So I'm getting the right piece hooked in the right area. So we're going to put glue on this. Oh, come on now. Make sure it's nice and straight. Why are you not gluing down? Oh, come on. Sometimes this glue is obstinate. <laughs> okay, I think we've got it. And then what I was talking about here is I'm going to take some score tape. Oh, and then I've got my phone going in on, off on the other in the other room oh goodness okay so that's what I was talking about is is some extra hold right there all right guys I shall return momentarily okay so let's see um all right so now uh what what am I gonna do what am I gonna do yeah, this is going to be lots of nice pictures. Lots of nice pictures. Lots of nice pictures. Okay. And I think... Um, see, I have these pockets that I want to use. And I think because I gave myself some room here, and this is the shortest one, I think I'll put the... Uh, these little pockets right here so i can put a couple of tags in which will explain you know anything that you want for all of these pictures because this one's a little smaller than than what you would get a four by six so because you can get most of a four by six on all of these you're having to cut off about a quarter of an inch but this one you'd have to cut out about an inch so you can still put one on the back end but I think this will help because this is where the extra space is. All right. So I'm just going to cut papers and get this put on. And I will come back and show you uh, how I finish this up. But let's see. Do I need, do I need to close these together? Or I could close this one up here 
yeah I might go ahead and do that as well that way these because I don't know that these are going to be most of the other ones that I haven't closed were heavy enough that they didn't uh, that they didn't matter much um, if I put a closure on there because it was going to stay so let's put let's put this sucker down Okay, since that had glue on it, I only used the eighth of an inch, but for the other one. Whoa, where'd you go? Now you're stuck on everything. Come here. Come to mama. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let me move this one. Now, you want to make sure that this is standing up. Let me put this one over here so I can just make sure that everything is straight. Let go. Thank you. Okay, I think right there. And let me just, before I really push that down, let me just make sure. Yes, that looks good. Let me push better. Push better. Oh, wait a minute. No. Ah! Backside, not front side. Backside. Careful. Careful, slowly, careful. Ah, poo, rip the paper. Knew I would. Knew I would. Poop. Well, we will fix that. We will fix that. Okay. Get this nice and straight. And now I have to flip this. Yeah, I got to flip this over now. All right. So I'm making sure that this is straight. And I'm going to let this find its mate. Now, let's see. Yeah, it needs to come down just a little bit. Okay, take it off. There we go. There. There. There we go. All right. Yay. Okay, guys. So I am just going to decorate this up and I will show you when I get back. And I'm probably going to have to print out some more papers. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. So this one is done now. So I uh, just took the postcard and put uh, trimmings of the blue paper all the way around and then placed the postcard on top of it. Uh, that's what I did there. And then I have this piece on the back. But if you open it up this way, I used another one of the cards here and put some strips along the sides and then I made my little pocket here flip this over I've got this piece 
and then this I am uh, I get did a uh, thing to use for my leftover pieces to do a collage so there's that one and then there's this one here and when you open this one up it comes over here and I tried to make it look like it was finishing up this page which I think came out pretty well and then blossom dream and love across the bottom of this one and then here I used uh, the last one that I had from the small cutting that I did uh, and I left it open so that you can place something up underneath there you can um, get a small photo to kind of go up in there this is just a little bit too big but uh, it, it, is, it is available and then another pocket I have not placed a tag here and then I've got a sheet to do this page here and then when you oh and this also works with this so it all kind of looks like it's you know blooming out of the same area I kind of like that and then this is the back side of that one so this one is done guys very nice very nice love it love it and so that <laughs> come here come here so this is these two and I haven't put this one on yet and I untied it because I needed to look at something <laughs> so that is those two and they are definitely going to be using up uh, not all but a good bit of that half inch space that's in between there there's still room for for photos and stuff but it it, it, it is nice and full so now I have this page and I have this page okay so let's just grab one and see what we're gonna do now I have ended up get this over here I have ended up with because I printed out six more sheets I printed this one and this one I printed another blue I printed another yellow and uh, I don't remember the other one I printed out but apparently I've used quite a bit of it but that's one two three four Ooh, I don't know I don't know where the other ones got off to oh here's another one I haven't used this one yet so there's five and I think that I have used maybe I printed out another one of these okay but I have some larger pieces that I thought I would try and cut my pages to fit the pieces you know I will have to cut them down some but so that that will I can get these utilized I also have two of these little buddies that I cut off of the other ones that I was doing okay um, I thought with these however I would probably let me think now um, I thought maybe I would try and do uh, a pocket with these instead um, have it come off and have a pocket I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not so I have this one and I have this one um, I don't know I could just make a double pocket like this I haven't done that yet kind of put one down here and then one here yeah that might be good and then I do have this one that's long enough for that 
and these guys, any of these guys would probably work. Don't want that yellow. Uh, let me look in my leftover pieces here and see if I have one that's long enough. Yes, I do. Okay, so that would work using these pieces as just pockets so that I can use them up and not have them go to waste. So that is probably what I'll do with that one. And then the last one, I will try and utilize some of these pieces. Uh, and then I'll have more, just more full sheets. Um, I also have the inside front and back covers as well as the cover. I've got my cover taken care of. And I think this is definitely enough paper to do my inside front and backs with and they're they're pretty i i love this one and this one's very pretty so yeah and you know i i didn't like this one at first but i really do it, it's got all the flowers on it so it is it is really pretty and then i've been dabbling that blue all around uh, to get that dark that you know that little darker color nice contrasting so let's see I don't need both pieces do I want to do anything and I thought let me find them let me find them not there. Here they are. Oh, but I want the actual, not the ones on the, here they are. Not the ones on the funky paper. So I have these stamps and I thought, and they will fit on here. So I thought this would be a great place to utilize these stamps, but I don't know. If I, if I folded that, huh, if I, yai, 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 see if I move this down a little further and have this one down here. Okay, so probably not using the stamps, but I think this is what I'm going to do on this here. On this here one, yeah. Okay, so I am going to cut off a half an inch on this side and fold it under, and that's what I will put down on my pockets. I know I've, I've been wanting to keep this, but this one needs to be rather flat as well as the other one. And so that's what we're going to do. Let me get these cut. So, this one goes this way, and I'm going to fold this one over this way. So we have one and two. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate these. Get them where I want them cut.
I think that is pretty straight. These little smaller pieces are harder on this big on this big one but if you just get to know your cutter voila very good i'm gonna go ahead and glue this one down i am going to go back through and put uh some you know decorate the pages right now i'm just getting the paper down just getting that paper down and you can hear me good I'll try and check that because uh, it doesn't help if you can't hear me all right so there's that one and then we'll get this one cut same way just make your marks and I'll give you the measurement of these pockets if you uh, so if you want them you can have them they were just what I had left over from that uh, page I just finished but I will give you some measurements And there's some more pieces. Gotta love the pieces. All right. I don't know. That just does not look. No, it is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this one down. Yeah, I think I've got some. small uh, lace that I'll put throughout because I think lace would really be nice with this very bright springy very bright and springy piece all right do we want yeah, I want this one down at the bottom. Uh, let's go ahead. Scissors right here. And just give these a little, little clipping. Just because you don't want to see them. On the top or the bottom. And it does allow your envelope, uh, your envelope, your pocket to seal down. Come on. Get over there. Mm, there we go. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, first it wasn't going at all. Then it went zoom. Whammo, ma'am. Okay, now I'm going to want to line this one up the same way. Remember, you're not cutting the score line off. You're cutting up to the score line. Blitter, blitter, blitter. Hear me say it over and over and over again. Like a broken record. <laughs> you're probably saying oh yes Lisa all right all right we got it we got it okay 
So these are going to be for small There we go, right? Let me see. Do I have that straight? I want to say no. Okay, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good right there. All right, so that's ready for tags, and boom, we've got another one done, and I think I'm going to go through. So I got, my son came over today, and for, well, for Christmas, he bought me a dog agility um, set, a beginner set. And so he came over this afternoon and we figured out where we were going to put it and what we were going to do. And he wasn't dressed to do um, work work. So, but he's going to come back over and get it set up for me. So I'm very excited. I wanted to wait until it was going to be warm enough. Um, to want to do something like that, but, uh, yeah, so I'm quite excited about that. I've been watching, um, YouTubes on, you know, how to start your dog and what it is you're supposed to do. I'm not looking to like go into shows or anything like that. I just think he would have a lot of fun with it and, um, and I've got to continuously keep him <laughs> doing something because he gets bored easily and he is full of energy. So he just, he is a challenge. He's been my best weight loss program I have ever had in my life. <laughs> Holy Toledo, let me tell you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and retie this okay get that unfolded there we go so that I don't have those loose pieces to contend with while I'm trying to get this on there. Yeah, guys, we are almost done. This really went together very quickly. And then I'm going to cut out all of my tags and run those through. I have to make my big tags. Oops, let's not bend it. Don't bend the paper. Okay. And then we have to still, of course, make our uh, we have to make our actual cover that would be good that would be a good thing to do yes so we'll have to do that and but that's coming up pretty darn close here guys uh i don't want to untie it so i'm just giving it a push around the best i can i think it's going to be good all right Okay. Are you down? Okay. So there's that one. And we do have the magnet here. So let's get this off. 
Oh, and we have this piece here that's helping uh, to hold our shorter than usual hinge. Shorter than usual, but still okay. A-okay. Not to worry. And I just put the dots on my tape so that it stands up on the glue for a moment while we're trying to get it lined up. And then as you press, it doesn't cover all of the tape because I think that's not the way the tape works best. So it's just my thought. So that's why I do that. If you don't have a problem, if you if it works fine for you, then you just keep doing it the way you do it. But I just think that it kind of... Why put the tape on if you're going to put glue all over it? I don't know. That's just... I mean, it's expensive tape. It works very well. And... I don't, you know, I, I just think that glue is glue and tape is tape. And I can understand wanting to have the ability to, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Wanting to have the ability to, uh, to use both and wanting the ability to move it around. And by putting dots on there, not smears, actual dots, because it will float on those dots. Once you push, the tape will take hold. But the glue doesn't spread over the entire, because I don't put that much on there. Um, so the tape actually is tape to paper, instead of tape and glue to paper. Oh my goodness, this is just coming along beautifully. And we have one more page. So, what can we do? I'm seeing how this fits on here. All right. What can we do? We have thin pieces like this. I don't necessarily care much for them together. I have this one. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I like that. So, let's put this away. And we're going to put these. I'm going to put these into my... Um, all my little leftover pieces. These are the pages that I need for, there's four of them right now. So I'll have to get that done. And I've got quite a few leftover pieces, so I think we'll be good there. Uh, let's see now. Um, I think on the inside back cover, I'm probably going to put another waterfall. So this doesn't need to be too thick or anything like that. Uh, oh, this one can go in too. Um, what can I do that I haven't already done? I've done flaps. I've done flap, flap, flap. Uh, I've done double pockets. I've done the incision pockets. Um, let's see. All right, guys. Instead of boring you while you hear the wheels grind on my head, um, I. <laughs> I'm going to give myself a moment and think about this. I'll be back in a second. 